The Battle of Tetuan was fought in 1860, near Tetuan, Morocco, between a Spanish army sent to North Africa and the tribal levies which at the time made up the Moroccan army. The battle was part of the Spanish-Moroccan War of 1859–1860. <laughs> Background and battle the Spanish expeditionary force, which departed from Algeciras, was composed of 36,000 men, 65 pieces of artillery, and 41 ships, which included steamships, sailboats, and smaller vessels. General Leopoldo O'Donnell, first Conde de Lucina later created Duque de Tetuán, a future Prime Minister of Spain, personally took charge of the expedition and divided these forces into three corps. These were commanded by General V Marques de Torreblanca, General Antonio Ros de Alano and General Ramón de Echeg. Reserves were placed under the command of General I Conde de Royce. Admiral Segundo Díaz Herrero commanded the fleet. The objective of the Spanish forces was to take Tatuán, which had served as a base for raids on Ceuta and Melilla. Hostilities between Moroccan and Spanish troops began on 17 December 1859 when the column commanded by the Marques de Torreblanca occupied the Sierra de Bolognese. On 19 December, Echeg captured the Palacio del Serralo. The Conde de Lucina commanded a force that landed at Ceuta on 21 December. By Christmas Day, the three columns had consolidated their positions and awaited orders to advance towards Titoan. On 1 January 1860, the Conde de Royce advanced towards the port of Guad al Jlu. The Marques de Torreblanca's column and the Royal Spanish Navy guarded his flank. Clashes continued until 31 January 1860, when a major Moroccan offensive was stopped. The Conde de Lucina began a march towards the objective of Tetuan, and was supported by forces composed of Catalan volunteers. Covering fire was provided by units commanded by General the Conde de Royce and General Ros de Alano. Spanish artillery inflicted heavy losses on the Moroccan ranks. The Moroccan forces that remained took refuge in Tetuan. The city fell on 6 February 1860. A week of further fighting followed before hostilities ceased. Outcome the capture of Tetuan prevented further attacks on Ceuta and Melilla by Moroccan forces. The Conde de Lucina returned with his troops to Spain, they camped at a spot north of Madrid while a triumphal entry into the capital was arranged. The camp, which acquired permanent structures as well as shops over time, became the Madrid neighborhood known as Tetuan de las Victorias. In the aftermath of the battle, General Leopoldo O'Donnell, 1st Conde de Lucina, was elevated in the Spanish peerage to being the first Duque de Tetuán. He later served as President of the Council of Ministers also known as the Prime Minister. <laughs> Cultural references Salvador Dali painted a version of Fortuny's painting of the battle. The Spanish victory was carved and painted on the pediment of the Church of San Joaquin, Iloilo, considered a militarist themed church in the Philippines. It was declared a national historical site in 1974. It was built in 1859 and completed in 1869 by the Spanish friar Tomas Santarin of the Augustinian Order. Gallery Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. In Spanish, Portal Fuente Rabolo. World History at KMLA. Moroccan War 1859 to 1860. Battle of Tatuan Ba Relief on Philippine Church